Individual samples are to be combined and remixed with a shovel the minimum amount necessary to ensure uniformity. Dampen testing equipment as required by the specification. Place the mold on a rigid, flat, level, moist, non-absorbent surface free of vibration that is large enough to contain all of the slumped concrete. If desired, measure and mark the mold at distances of 2 and 5 eighths and 6 and an eighth inch to indicate one third of the volume. Hold the mold firmly in place during filling and cleaning by standing on the two foot pieces on either side of the mold. A base plate with clamps is also acceptable. Using a scoop, fill the mold in three layers, moving the scoop around the perimeter of the mold opening to ensure an even distribution of the concrete. For the first layer, fill the mold to approximately one third of its volume and rod the layer 25 times throughout its depth with the rounded end of the tamping rod. Uniformly distribute the strokes over the cross section of the layer. Incline the rod slightly, starting near the perimeter, and progress with vertical strokes spirally toward the center. For the second layer, fill the mold to approximately two thirds of its volume. Rod the layer 25 times uniformly over the cross section with a rounded end of the rod. Rod through the layer and into the layer below approximately one inch. Uniformly distribute the strokes over the cross section of the layer. For the third layer, heap concrete above the top of the mold. Rod the layer 25 times uniformly over the cross section with the rounded end of the rod. Rod through the layer and into the layer below approximately one inch. Uniformly distribute the strokes over the cross section of the layer. Should rotting the layer result in concrete falling below the top of the mold, add concrete to keep an excess above the mold. Continue the rotting count from the value reached before concrete was added to the mold. Strike off the top surface of the concrete with the tamping rod in a screeding and rolling motion. While maintaining downward pressure, remove any concrete which collected around the base of the mold during strike off. Remove the mold by raising it in a steady vertical direction. There should be no lateral or torsional motion of the mold while lifting. Lift the mold off the concrete a distance of 12 inches in five plus or minus two seconds. Complete the slump test from the start of the filling of the mold through the removal of the mold in two and a half minutes. If a decided falling away or shearing off of concrete from one side or portion of the mass occurs, disregard the test and make a new test on another portion of the sample. Measure the slump. This is the vertical distance between the top of the mold and the displaced original center of the top surface of the specimen. Report the slump to the nearest quarter inch.